What was the conversation like and what did you learn about the company's situation? Sure. So first, that they have pretty good news recently. Uh, they got the uh, massive loan from the U.S. government with their customer for the motor. It was nine point two billion dollars. It was pretty big loan. It's not easy to get that loan. It was just like uh, there were pretty few companies that, that received the benefits, such as Tesla and General Motors and Ford in the past decade. So the reason is the U.S. government is pretty happy with their plan to build at least three big battery plants in the United States. And SK On is relatively new in the global EV industry. And they are pretty aggressive in terms of increasing output. And they're planning to build at least 14 plants in the world, including six plants in the United States by 2025. Well, those are some big plans. So tell us more about the loan and how SK plans to boost production. Sure. Uh, so with the loan, the loan is basically given to the, the, the JV between Ford and um, Ford and uh, SK on, and uh, so they're gonna they're gonna create a lot of jobs, and U.S. officials are really supporting their plan, and uh, uh, so um, and their their plans actually will help uh, U.S. government to reduce their reliance on Chinese components for their electric vehicle, and also. SK SK1 is actually aiming to make a profit next year, and although it's not that easy uh, to do so because, uh, you know, we have a lot of inflation and rising labor costs, uh, especially in the United States. And uh, to be honest, a lot of battery companies, CEOs actually complained to me recently that it's not easy to train and hire battery uh, workforces, especially in the United States. When are they aiming to make a profit? Oh, like I said, they're gonna uh, they're gonna aiming to make a turnaround and at least the next year. That's what the investors actually pushing this company because the company is actually preparing an IPO in the next four years. And this we have this new CFO at this company. He came from Standard Chartered Korea and also Merlin, and he knows exactly what investors wants.